In this Canva tutorial, I'm going to show you the three options you have to save with transparency here on Canva. So there's three different file types we can save with transparency. First, you have to make sure that your background's transparent. So click on the background, make sure that its color is white, pure white. And you can click on this color icon and it should be all Fs down here for pure white. No gradient, just solid color. Then any elements you have on top of your page uh, will just overlap and have that transparent background behind it, as long as they're cut out, like this image here of this girl. So we go up to this download option, we go down to download, and we have three file types here, PNG, PDF, or SVG. They kind of tell you what they're best for. Most of the time it'll be PNG or PDF. If we look at PNG, we can check mark transparent background. That's the only way you get a transparent background PNG. You have to have Canva Pro to do that. Free trial, link in the description. So that's one way you can download a PNG with a transparent background. PDF, as long as you do not have flattened PDF check marked. So don't check mark that. It will keep all of the layers in your document and it'll store it in a PDF, including the transparency. Now, if you do flatten PDF, it's going to flatten everything into a single image. That's not what you want. Then we go back and SVG is, or actually we just click here, SVG is the last one. And so SVG obviously requires Canva Pro. And then we click transparent background there as well. That's usually best for web graphics or vector elements rather than imagery. I would use PNG instead. But those are the three options you have to download transparent backgrounds, PNG, PDF, and SVG. And so the process is pretty simple. If I want to download a transparent background PNG, hit the download button after I select all of my different uh, attributes that I want to change here, uh, and then hit download. And then it basically downloads it. This will go to your photo roll or camera roll on your phone. You don't have to do anything in here. This just pops up for you to share it. Uh, if you hit save image, it'll save two of them instead. So we're going to exit out of that. And once this finishes, it'll say, hey, look, we saved this to your camera roll. And then it'll be in your camera roll or your photo album on your phone. You can upload that back to Canva um, or use it however you need to use it. But those are the options to save with transparency here on Canva Mobile.